me to the camp bar tonight. How y'all feeling? Good. Good, good. good. Now, now when he called me up here, he said, "Welcome to the stage, Kevin Light." But y'all was clapping like he said, Kevin Hart. Now, no, it's just me, Kevin Light. But I'm gonna tell you the truth. When I first came to the door, I was a little nervous and happy at the same time. Because the last time I performed for these many white people, all I heard was the word guilty. <laughs> and my black ass was going up to Penn State to do my semester. <laughs> or was that the state Penn? Or Penn State? It doesn't matter. You gotta watch your ass in both of these showers anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I see somebody went to Penn State, huh? <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you a little something about myself. My name is Kevin Lightman, and I'm from a, I'm from a small little town. Could y'all hear me? No. no. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Do they just leave these things on when I'm not here? Is this part of the act? Do, 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 do. Quick, tell the jokers. Okay. Um, well, well, if y'all can hear me, listen up. My name is Kevin Light. I'm from a small little town in Philadelphia. And trust and believe me, right? It ain't a nice motherfucker in that town. And they got the audacity to name the town Nice Town, right? This is a place where you get raped, robbed, like Trump said, you get broke. And the cops will tell you all the same thing stop snitching. One time I got robbed with my sneakers and my gold chain. Not only did the cops take so long to come to the scene, by the time they got there, the guy that robbed me came back and robbed the cops. Now they looking at me, you gonna get him? Like, no, you just say stop snitching. <laughs> Took their car keys and their walkie talkies. I said, I'll be there. Did I just say walkie talkies up here? I'm telling my true age tonight. <laughs> God, leave. You know you get old when your body don't have no recollection what your body gonna do? Like I was in Walmart the other day, right? I was in line, I was ready to check out. So I had to sneeze, and I tried to hold it. But I sneezed so hard that I shit myself. <laughs> and the lady behind me said, what was that? What of your business, lady? Damn. And I found myself walking around Walmart looking for Adele Pampers and shower mats. <laughs> yeah, I felt to tell you I fell in the shower the other day. You know? But me getting old, I, I don't want to get old. You know? So what I do on the weekends, I get peacocked up. So, for y'all don't know what Peacock is, you know, I put on a silk shirt and a gator shoes, and I go to the clubs and I look at the young girls, you know, about 35, 40 years old, right? So I'm gonna wait and I, I'm peeping them and they peeping me, I, but I'm the shit, because I'm dressed up. And I don't know what they say, mm, he the shit. So I went to go approach one of them, I'm like, hey, how you doing, shorty? She said, mm, you smell like shit. <laughs> then I walk around the club, smell like shit and been gay. I said, this don't make no sense. But I had to change my life, but I had to change my life because I fell in love. And if y'all remember that first time falling in love, y'all spend the night with that person, y'all wake up in the morning, y'all look into their beautiful eyes and the sun coming through the window, and you like, this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Then they always mess it up with one dumb ass love. Um, Kevin, could you be a father to just one of my kids? Bitch, how many times you don't use that damn line? You got eight of them running around here. Got time for that? I got my own problems. See, I got an eight-year-old son. I'm still waiting for a blood test for his boy ass. Yeah, I got problems. Cause he could do everything that I can't do. He could cook, clean, cuss, you know. Like I'm a father, I work 11 to seven. So I'm, up, I'm downstairs in the basement with my other son. He upstairs, he cooking chicken, he making waffles, he making Kool-Aid, you know, little typical little, Eight year old. So he hopped down the steps. Um, key signs, my dad down there. So I tell my other son, no, I tell my left. He said, no, he left. He said, well, let me ask you something. He said, what is it? He said, where's my motherfucking dinosaur t shirt at? <laughs> so my heart was hurt, but I'm still waiting for that blood test. So I'm like, damn. So he comes downstairs, he got his little smorgasbord with me, sitting down. So I come from behind the laundry door. He said, Dad, where you was at? I said, oh, I forgot my car keys. I said, oh. He said, oh, I go get him. I said, wait a minute, come in. I said, the neighbor said somebody was saying cussing. Was it you? He said, no, Dad, it wasn't me. I said, all right, this is what we're going to do. You tell me the truth, I'm going to let you slide. If you lie, I'm going to have to beat your butt. He said, Dad, it wasn't me. I said, all right. So I'm walking up the steps. He said, Dad, come back. So I come back downstairs. I'm looking at him. He's looking up at me. He said, Dad, 
You know I didn't mean to cuss. But you know I like that motherfucker that was a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, man. I said, man, kids, man. But um, I love my kids to death. But my dad gave my mom the best child support advice in the world. He came up, he said, fuck them kids. They gonna grow up to be shit. And I said, damn. I said, mom, was he talking about me? He said, she said, no, baby, he's talking about your brother and sister. <laughs> and that's how I raised my kids. <laughs> but um, me, I, I just, marriage is something else, man. I, I've been married for 19 wonderful years. 19 wonderful years. And I'm glad y'all didn't clap because the bitch is gone now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and her being gone ain't the bad part. The bad part, I couldn't sleep or eat for two damn weeks. I tried calling her, texting her, faxing her to no return. She had the audacity to call me a back a month later with her attitude. Like, Kevin, what do you want? I said, I said baby, you forgot something. She was like, what? I said, these motherfucking kids are yours. <laughs> Running around here eating up all my food and making all this damn noise. And bring back my VCR. <laughs> BH text, VHS tapes collector. That's I don't know what to do with myself. I said this don't make no sense. But I, I want I want to thank y'all for having me up here because this comedy thing, storytelling, I got into it because I was sick and tired of pushing that coat day in and day out. I'm talking about sometimes serving customers twice a day. I mean, it was a backbreaker. I mean, it had coke on the aisles, coke on the avenue, coke down by the freeze, coke on the freeze. And I was reading in a paper, Pepsi was paying $5 more than Coca-Cola, and you know, and that's how I got the other jacket. Wait, 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 wait. y'all thought I was talking about cocaine? No, 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 no. I ain't trying to go back to Penn State, yo. Uh-uh. But Kevin Lightner, that's my time. Thank y'all very much. from comedy to our first poetry of the evening, and that's super awesome. And we are tied, we are affiliated very loosely with Button Poetry. If you've never heard of Button Poetry, they have uh, poetry slams that used to be here, but have recently moved. I can't a little loose. The what? <laughs> but we're going to bring our first poet up here. Put your hands together for our first time performer, Mix Inspiration. It's not you. You're next. I'm third. Oh, I put people in. I had a reserved spot, Ski. <laughs> That's why I didn't say Zoe. Let the whole bunch of sit in my seat. You can sit in a seat. It doesn't have to be yours. It says three. 